So the first SCP is the Unseen Mold. Listen to this, SCP-020. <laughs> Item SCP-020 Archie Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Samples of SCP-020 are stored in a series of seal cultivation chambers inside a seal containment room in Biological Research Area 12, which is accessible only via airlock. Nutrients are administered via automated robotic systems as the cultivation chamber must remain sealed at all times. Hermetically sealed video surveillance cameras are installed within the containment room and must be checked daily for integrity. Any personnel entering the containment room must wear biosafety level 5 equipment including rebreathers and undergo full antifungal disinfection upon exiting. Description SCP-020 is a fast spreading fungal organism, uh, organism that is capable of affecting the senses and behavior of living creatures, including humans. Samples of 020 exhibit an unknown effect that renders them effectively invisible to direct observation, even when under a microscope. 020 is only visible to humans when viewed through photographs or video surveillance. Once 020 forms a colony, usually within a human residence, it will produce spores that affect the behavior of humans around it. Affected subjects will increase the heat and humidity within their homes to create an environment more suitable to the growth of 020. Affected subjects also become more sociable in many cases and often invite acquaintances to their homes to further spread the organism. As the spores and mold colonies are visible to affected subjects, the mold may sometimes grow directly on living subjects. As the spores and colonies within a home approach critical concentration, the health of affected human subjects will rapidly deteriorate, causing, resulting in death. Further spread of the mold may occur as the bodies of any deceased subjects are encountered by emergency responders and healthcare agents, as well as transportation of the bodies to local morgues. 020 was first encountered in Redacted, where an undercover SCP agent noted dramatic personality changes in personnel working at the local hospital. On investigation by a containment team, it was discovered that almost Redacted civilians had been affected, as well as the majority of the town. The civilian population was terminated and the town incinerated under cover of a local flash forest fire. To date, over 12 outbreaks of 020 have been reported. Investigations are currently underway to determine the source of these outbreaks and possible preventive measures. Denim 020-01 Excerpts from the audio slash video mission Recorders of Wall Task Force Eta 10 See No Evil during the initial containment of, of 020 unredacted. Team 2 lead. Team 2. Moving to the Red House. T2 Com. Gabby. UAV 1 is picking up at one heat signature. Team 2 in place. Ready to break. Expletive. T2-2. Door opening. At this point, a civilian woman appeared in the doorway holding a kitchen knife. Video surveillance showed that nearly two-thirds of her face was covered by mold growths. Civilian woman. Well, hello there, gentlemen. Here to breathe inside. On the ground, drop the weapon. Don't be silly. Come on in and stay a while. Stop where you are. Drop the weapon. We, we just want to have some guests. Please, come in. 
Frat the explanative weapon. Let's start at this point. The infected civilian noticed T2 4 carrying a prime incendiary weapon and lunged forward at the team members with the knife. Civilian woman. Dead expunged. Team. Open fire! Open fire! Gunfire screaming. And that's it of the anomaly. So basically, it's already a pretty fucked SCP. Now let's see the first the thumbnail. Yep. Mm-hmm. Naked woman? <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, that was easy. That's an easy floor. <laughs> Of course, they would use a naked woman in a thumbnail. We don't really have much characters in here. We get Team 2 Lead, Team 2 Calm, T2-2, and Civilian Woman. And it looks like they got the license. Alright. Let's get this over with. Don't you love me still? Don't you miss me? The woman approached her husband, arms outstretched, as he slowly stepped away. The man's arms extended keeping the woman at a distance. Come on, Henry. Don't pretend to be shy now. You what the fuck? Her skin was infested with some sort of fungal growth. Half of her face was already covered with it. Are you okay? You seem different. I'm the same as always. Now come here and give me a kiss. She leaned in. Already, the fungus was spreading to him. Is that all we have to go on? Yeah. We received the footage yesterday. Looks to be highly contagious. Some sort of anomalous fungal outbreak. I'm assuming the infection has already spread, but if we act fast enough, we should be able to contain it. Shouldn't be too hard to spot, eh? Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-020, Unseen Mold. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Claw slid the case files across the Chen. It seems simple enough as far as SCPs went. Fungal growth, highly contagious. Final outcome for the victims? As yet, unknown. They'd be on the ground soon enough. Cloth looked out the window. Uh -huh. He needed a vacation. They approached the house, full hazmat suits were the order of the day. As they reached the front door, it started to open. Chen signaled to halt. The door opened. It was the lady from the surveillance footage. But she didn't appear infected. Hi, can I help you? Would you like to come inside? I've just made a fresh batch of muffins and some delightful iced tea. Chen looked at Kloss with a quizzical look on his face. What was going on? There was no sign mm -hmm. of infection on the woman anymore. We'd love to. Thank you. As they walked through the door, Kloss whispered to Chen. She didn't even question the hazmat suits. Keep your wits about you. Something's not right. As they entered the living room, they saw her husband sitting in a chair, reading a book. As they approached, he set the book down. Welcome, welcome. It's always nice to have okay. unexpected visitors. Please, take a seat. Won't you take off those suits? They look mighty warm. Thank you, but if you don't mind, we'll keep them on for the time being. The man frowned briefly, but smiled again as his wife came back into the room. Well now... How will you try my tea unless you take off those silly helmets? We appreciate the offer, but we'll have to decline. Can I ask you a few questions? The woman's demeanor changed abruptly. The way I was brought up, it's considered rude to keep a hat on in someone else's house. Take okay. it off. Kloss looked at Chen. We do apologize, madam. 
but we're not at liberty to remove them. Could we ask you those questions now? The husband and wife looked at each other, then back at Kloss and Chen, and started to slowly move towards them. Chen drew his weapon. Step back. You get one warning with me, and you've just had it. They continued to approach, slowly. Okay. Chen raised his weapon and fired a shot straight into the woman's arm. It exploded, and a burst of cloud erupted into the air. Kloss yelled out at Chen. They're still infected. Get out. We'll see the house. The two men ran out from the house, the other agents awaiting them. Seal it up. No one in, no one out, unless you hear otherwise from me. Chen and Kloss poured over the mm -hmm. available information, trying to figure out what had happened. After the initial incident, they had sent men in to retrieve the wife's body. Honestly, not bad so far. husband had been quarantined and confined for the time being. Kloss looked over the body. Very strange. I can't see any clear signs of the infection. However, some of the blood work has come back with strange results. Strange? That doesn't say a whole lot to me, Doc. Strange is what we do. Well, signs of spores and mold. It appears she is still infected, but why it's not visible anymore? I'm not sure. Kloss worked on through the night. Chen passed out on a table next to him. The PA system came to life. Sir, there's a person here who'd like to talk to you. Be right there. Chen woke up. You need me? Nah. Stay here and keep an eye on things. I'll see what she wants. Okay. Chen walked towards the CCTV system and sat down. He reached over to pour himself a cup of coffee. On the monitor, Kloss could be seen standing just outside the tent's doors, seemingly gesticulating for a woman in the distance to come closer. As she approached and came into focus, Chen saw her skin was covered in fungal growth. She was heavily infected. Chen hit the PA button. Kloss, get away! She's infected! Kloss looked back up at the camera with a confused expression. She's fine. What are you talking about? Chen looked from Kloss to the woman. What was going on? Then it clicked. The camera. He yelled through the intercom. Step back. I'm on my way. He ran forward as Kloss came back into the tent. What are you going on about? Uh -huh. The cameras. The fungus is so invisible. So far, not so bad. The cameras. Kloss's eyes widened. He turned to look back. The lady was at the tent door now. Come on, sweetie, open up. It's rude to leave a visitor outside. Just behind the woman, the townsfolk start to step out of the shadows. Chen looked up at the surveillance monitor. Samples of SCP-020 are stored in a series of sealed cultivation chambers mm -hmm. inside a sealed containment room at Biological Research Area 12, which is accessible only via airlock. Nutrients are administered via automated robotic systems, as the cultivation chamber must remain sealed at all times. So far, not sealed bad. video surveillance cameras are installed within the containment room and must be checked daily for integrity. Any personnel entering oh the containment God. room must wear biosafety level 5 equipment, including rebreathers and undergo full antifungal disinfection upon exiting. SCP-020 is a fast-spreading fungal organism that is capable of affecting the senses and behavior of living creatures, including humans. Samples of SCP-020 exhibit an unknown effect that renders them effectively invisible to direct observation, even when under a microscope. SCP-020 is only visible to humans when viewed through photographic or video surveillance. Uh -huh. Once SCP-020 forms a colony, Usually within a human residence, it will produce spores that affect the behavior of humans around it. Affected subjects will increase the heat and humidity within their homes to create an environment uh -huh. more suitable to the growth of SCP-020. Affected subjects also become more sociable in many cases and That's often correct. invite acquaintances to their homes to further spread the organism. As the spores and mold colonies are invisible to the affected subjects, the mold may sometimes grow directly on living subjects. As the spores and colonies within a home approach critical concentration, the health of affected human subjects will rapidly deteriorate, resulting in death. Further spread of the mold may occur as the bodies of any deceased subjects are encountered by emergency responders and healthcare yep. agents, as well as transportation of the bodies to local morgues. Mm -hmm. SCP-020 was first encountered in 
where an undercover SCP agent noted dramatic personality changes in personnel working at the local hospital. Upon investigation yep. by the containment team, it was discovered that almost civilians had been infected, as well as the majority of the town. The civilian population was terminated, and the town incinerated under cover of a local flash forest fire. Yes, Today, correct. Over 12 outbreaks of SCP-020 have been reported. Investigations are currently underway to determine the source of these outbreaks and possible preventive measures. The next time you see some black mold or a growth in a dark, warm corner of your house, be sure to have it taken care of immediately. You never know what the long-term effects might be. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like, and share if you would. Until next time, farewell. Holy fucking shit. Hey. Hmm. I'm trying to see. I don't. I think because of how short the article is, they kept everything except for Mobile Task Force 8 of 10. They were removed. Which is actually rather good. I, I I will have to give a three for removal of characters because they got rid of all the MTF. They got the civilian, but they got rid of all the MTF. Added blood or gore? I not added gore or violence. I mean. No, not really. Not really. I didn't see any added violence, really. Or gore. Well, hold on. They did show the shooting of the arm, which didn't happen in the article. I mean, the apprentice said, I'm looking forward. Thanks so much. There's gunfire and screaming, but. Uh, nah, I guess I'll go with zero for that. That really added any gore or violence. Give me the two from DVA from the point of the article. Because they basically they kept adding women with ASMR voice <laughs> coming out of nowhere. Like the first the civilian was fine. But then they added more civilian women as well as the boob D class. Like boob D class. So there was that. Uh, only a minute video? No, that's a zero. That, this is honestly probably going to be the best score we're going to get. Plus ten equals five. Yep, fifty five percent. Honestly, not that bad. It wasn't that bad. Then again, it was a very short fucking anomaly.